us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section B of the August 2022 Science Paper 1. Let us look at question B6. What is boiling? So basically, in this case, it's just defining what it is. So what are the key things that we need to know? So when we are talking about boiling, basically uh, we are referring to uh, the change of state from liquid to gas without a change in temperature. So it is basically uh, a change of state from liquid to gas without a change in temperature that is a basically boiling so key things change from change from a liquid to gas without change in temperature so without change in temperature that is what is critical then let us look at basically b state two factors that affect the boiling point of a liquid so two factors that affect the boiling point of the liquid is what we are required to a state so number one is pressure so boiling point increases as pressure increases and decreases as pressure reduces so a boiling point increases with pressure then the converse is true so when the pressure is lower then the boiling point reduces when the pressure is high the boiling point increases then number two it is basically our impurities so impurities so the presence of impurities in a substance increases the boiling point so that is a boiling point increases with the presence of impurities so the higher the level of impurities the higher the boiling point if the impurities are relatively very small then the boiling point will be close to the boiling point of a pure substance these are the two key ones number three in case was to do three is a basically a molecular weight so molecular that's number three molecular weight so uh, the boiling point increases if uh, the chain length of a molecular increases so for a bigger molecular substance they have a higher boiling point while a molecular substance with a smaller chain they have lower boiling point that's basically the case then in case you are required to list four the number fourth is basically the intermolecular forces so if the intermolecular forces are weak the boiling point is also going to be low if they are strong the boiling point will be high this is a case that we discover in covalent bonding the boiling point is relatively low compared to ionic compounds and the boiling point of metallic compounds higher because of the strong intermolecular forces so basically those are the four so one pressure two impurity three molecular weight a four intermolecular forces we look at question c explain two differences between boiling and the evaporation and we are required to give a uh, two so uh, the first one is the fact that uh, boiling occurs at a fixed temperature so boiling occurs at a fixed temperature that's uh, the first difference while evaporation occurs at any temperature while evaporation occurs 
at any temperature. So what you notice in this case, in our definition, we said without the change of temperature. So that's why uh, boiling occurs at a specific temperature. There is a specific single temperature at which boiling is going to uh, occur if we are dealing with it, uh, basically, especially a pure substance. Number two is uh, boiling occurs through out the liquid while evaporation occurs on the surface of the substance. So boiling occurs through out the liquid while evaporation occurs only at the surface of the liquid. So evaporation just takes place at the surface on top of the liquid while boiling occurs throughout uh, the liquid. In, so the entire liquid is going to be boiling while evaporation just takes at the surface of the liquid. That's why you see on the ocean, the ocean water will be reducing because the evaporation is taking place from the surface. So these are the two. So just in case you are asked to uh, give more than uh, two, uh, I'm going to add an additional one. Number three, boiling. So boiling is a fast uh, process. So because it's taking place at a, a particular temperature, uh, it's going to be a fast uh, process while evaporation is a slow process. So basically, this is uh, what happens. So that's uh, number three. If you are asked to give a four or five, a number four that you would add is basically the fact that uh, during boiling, a bubbles are um, visible. So bubbles are visible when boiling is taking place, while during evaporation, bubbles are not uh, visible. That's uh, number four. Then uh, the last one, the last one that you need to uh, notice that is during boiling, it is uh, supplied to the substance by uh, the energy source. So during boiling, so uh, it energy is are supplied. So like for example, a stove is going to supply a heat energy to the pot. So heat energy is supplied to the substance. While during uh, evaporation, um, heat energy is absorbed by the surrounding. So while during evaporation, it energy is absorbed absorbed by the substance from the uh, surrounding that's uh, the case so basically these are the additional information that you need to know about uh, the differences between evaporation and the boiling. So basically, ideally, is this is how you answer this question to get the five marks. Remember, our goal is to give you as much details as possible to ensure that you just ace that exam. So please check out for all materials on our YouTube channel where I've covered content from the past paper covering from 2018 all the way to 2022.